<sighs> What's wrong, Anthony? I don't know what to do. I feel like a dope. I feel like I've lost. A glimmer of hope. Oh, bars. And now I'm upset. I'm all in my feelings. And I just don't know how I'm gonna be dealing. Tell him! With all these emotions. Cause I'm inside an ocean. Of emotion. Oh, fire, 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 flames. And I wish to motion, your honor, for this case to be put on recess. Because I'm upset by the lack of progress. Okay, you you should stop now. It, it's getting cringe. Hi everyone, Dethany Prestano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Little Yachty album, Nothing to Prove. You should know who rapper Little Yachty is. At this point, he's been one of the biggest things in in trap music and SoundCloud rap for the past couple of years. Since he burst onto the scene with one of the most promising mixtapes of 2016, I'm talking about his Little Boat Tape, a project that I caught a lot of flack for liking, but I still get a lot of enjoyment out of it even today. The goofy, fun, exuberant, joyous personality of Yachty on this tape is something to behold. I love the bright, shiny, soaring, sunny, inspiring beats all over this thing. Certainly not a sound palette that a lot of Yachty's contemporaries hop on top of. The lyrics generally on this thing were sort of braggy, but also showed a kind of vulnerable and emotional side to Yachty too. Also, so many earworm choruses that I just cannot deny across this project as well. I mean, sure, it's a flawed tape. It's kind of messy. It's kind of amateurish. It sounds a little weird and awkward. I get why a lot of people don't like it and don't take it seriously, but I still had high hopes for Yachty coming out of this project, even if I did think my enjoyment of this thing was maybe a little bit of a fluke. Because there is a bit of an element of it's so bad it's good going on here, and simultaneously, Yachty is still a young artist who knows if he's going to be all that consistent or stick to an idea, a narrative, a sound, whatever. So following this, we had Yachty's Summer Songs 2 mixtape, which was a total mess, all over the place quality-wise. I mean, the, the fun, upbeat, happy-go-lucky goofball personality was still there. It seemed like his heart was in the right place, but a lot of the songs were just trash. Like, he wasn't really trying, didn't really put that much effort into the project, but hey, maybe he's just kind of doing some spring cleaning, throwing a bunch of tracks out there, just kind of keep fans held over until he dropped something a bit bigger, more ambitious. And that's where his debut commercial album Teenage Emotions comes in. Easily one of the worst albums of that year. It is clear that Yachty had a big budget on this project, had a lot of artistic freedom, <laughs> and just given those things, this should have come out amazing. But instead, it features some of his worst songs, some of his worst bars. Whenever I think of that cello line, my brain wants to implode. This record was like all of Yachty's worst artistic tendencies given the biggest platform and the biggest budget imaginable. And he just stretched it out over a bloated track list to the point where listening to the entire thing is just excruciating. I pretty much enjoyed his following tape, Little Boat 2. It was a record that I hope would live up to the hype of the original Little Boat tape. This project saw Yachty sensibly scaling things back from teenage emotions, hopping on top of darker, slightly grittier production, rapping a little bit more. The Little Boat, Little Yachty dichotomy had mostly melted away on this thing, unfortunately. Though I still liked the instrumentals across this thing. I thought a lot of Yachty's flows were pretty catchy. I thought the hooks were pretty infectious. And despite the mood shift on this project, it felt like Yachty's free-spirited personality was still very much intact. And then we have Nothing to Prove, which really does live up to its title in that it feels like Yachty literally has nothing to prove. He is putting in as little effort as possible, just delivering a bunch of dime a dozen flows on top of some very skeletal and very stripped back trap beats. Not so stripped back and minimal to the point where it's strange or experimental or kind of a new vibe or sound, just enough to the point where it's just really uneventful and bland. But even though most of the beats on this thing are basic as hell, really the biggest loss and the most upsetting thing about this record is that Yachty sounds jaded, even after just a few years in the spotlight. And I'm not really sure if he's lost the passion for it or if there's just very little incentive for him to put any thought into these songs because his label or his audience aren't really expecting all that much from him. Either way, that free spirit, that goofball, fun, and unique attitude that Yachty would bring to a feature, a record, an album, and anything, 
is just not here at all. I mean, there's one track where he does uh, get a little lovey-dovey and slaps the auto-tune on and reaches into his upper register. It's the song Worth It, which is actually one of the better tracks on the entire record, even though some of the lyrics are kind of patronizing, like, Oh, girl, I love you even if you don't get surgery. I love you the way you are, girl. I mean, it's mostly fine. It sounds like it comes from the heart. But still, outside of that, a lot of this project just kind of sounds like Yachty trying to sound really hard and aggressive over some basic ass beats. And look, in trap music, there's really no shortage of aggression at the moment, and there are a lot of other artists doing it way better than Yachty is. It just seems like he's doing everything he can to blatantly avoid what exactly made him so unique and so special and so attractive when he initially broke onto the scene. And sure, there are tracks on here where maybe some of the lyrics are a little silly or a little dumbed down, like on Riley from the Boondocks or On the Mac. But still, these tracks are really lacking in quotables. They mostly feel off the cuff. Their choruses are really awkward, and I mostly just want to skip them. When this record does dish out some decent moments, it's mostly because the beat is good or the guest on the track steals the show. Whether it be Get Dripped with Playboy Cardi, which mostly just sounds like a Playboy Cardi song with a Yachty feature. Or the track Yacht Club featuring Juice World, where Juice and Yachty trade some melodic and fun bars and eventually hit a few verses toward the end of the track where they are going back and forth about getting a girl pregnant and then just like having a baby out of wedlock. <laughs> a really weird flex, but Okay. The beat on We Outta Here is pretty hard, but Offset and Cardi B on the track Who Want the Smoke totally outshine Yachty outside of a weird spot toward the back end of the track where he kind of reaches into his lower register and sounds really funny. And the last several tracks on this thing, Forever World with Trippy Red, Nolia with Kevin Gates, Fallen in Love with Gunna, Stony. These are among some of the longest and most arduous and most long-winded tracks on the entire record. Incredibly uneventful. They're a bit on the mellower side. Yachty sounds even more uninspired than he did on a lot of the previous tracks, which is upsetting to say because songs like Stony and tracks like the little baby track on this thing see Yachty taking a slightly more personal approach to the lyrics, but even when he's rapping from a slightly more uh, introspective or emotional standpoint, his lyrics and his delivery comes off flat, not just emotionally, but sometimes when he's singing too, like literally on a pitch level. Not that that's anything new for Yachty anyway, but you know. It was easier to overlook when his music was actually fun to listen to. And not to say that Yachty just needs to flip the fun switch and become a clown on record for me to enjoy it, but I don't really find the tracks on this record to be that dark or emotional either. It mostly just sounds like Yachty trying to sound cool and trendy when really I think the path that made the most sense for him was to embrace what made him so unique to begin with. And Nothing to Prove just sounds like the complete loss of that, the complete loss of the Little Boat narrative. So yeah, I'm just not really sure where Yachty goes from here. But if Yachty is going to put out a quality record ever again, he needs a few things. One, you need songs. The Little Boat Tape had songs. It had some great songs on it. And even on Teenage Emotions, even though a lot of the tracks on that record were a mess, it sounded like you were trying to write some memorable songs, some hits. This record very clearly had either no or a very short writing process. I'm not even sure if there was much forethought put into this record. Two, the production needs to be more memorable, more unique, fit your actual personality, something that people aren't gonna hear on other records. Three, do not just pad your album out with super trendy features. This is your record, this is your artistic statement. It's not a hip hop convention. And four, finally, the most stunning and memorable thing about your record needs to be you. You cannot be buried in the beats, outshined by your guests. You need to come out there with all guns blazing so that you leave an impact, leave an impression on the audience. And again, that's just not happening here because very little in terms of writing, the choruses fall flat, the beats are unmemorable, and this is easily Yachty's most underwhelming performance yet. While I have had my issues with a lot of Yachty projects so far, it hasn't been until now that I felt like he's not really trying. And it's unfortunate because when Yachty first came out, I thought this guy is one of the more unique voices out here, really excited to see where he's going, but now it just seems like he's going with the current, which if he continues on that path, eventually he's gonna end up washed up at shore. I'm feeling a decent too strong too, on this thing, Tran. Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you should check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Yachty, nothing to prove, forever.